So last night, if you did miss it, Marcus Stroman signed with the Cubs on a three-year deal. Yes, sir! Well, I made a whole video breaking down the logistics of it, what I think about it, what it means for the Cubs, what I think it means going forward. If you guys want to see that, I'll leave a link up here and also a link in the description so you guys can check it out. I also uploaded a Blue Jays rebuild yesterday. Double upload for you guys. Go check them out. Today, Cubs rebuild. Had to do it. I'm turning this team around ASAP. I think the Cubs are doing something sneaky. I think Jed Hoyer is about to pull a bunch of random stuff out of his sleeve. He's going to shock the world. I'm calling it right now. Jed Hoyer's up to something. I'm telling you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed up the process because we're in a lockout right now. We're getting no baseball news until a new agreement between the players and the owners comes to fruition. We're still going to do rebuilds, though. I got to bring you guys the content. So today we got a Cubs rebuild. Ooh. Mm. Mm, so good. I'm excited about this one. Let's get into it. So, of course, if you do enjoy it, hit that like button down below. You guys have been asking for the roster that I use in every single video. If you guys can get this video to 700 likes. I want to see 700 likes on this video. I will drop my roster tonight. Tonight. In the vault. I will call it the Ant Ortiz offseason roster. I'll drop it for you guys so you guys can see it. So, there it is. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And, of course, in the comment section down below... Let me know your favorite signing that has happened so far in the offseason. Let me know what you guys think. All right. So I will definitely do some more realistic rebuilds in the future. But with the Cubs signing Stroman, I just want to have a little bit of fun. Because realistically, I don't think the Cubs are going to be competitors this year. I think this is going to be a year where we try to find out who we want to keep and who we want to get rid of. And then year, what would that be, 2023 then? I think 2023 is when we start to, you know figure out some other moves unless like i said jed hoyer shocks the world and brings in like carlos correa or something so like i said i i i, I still think the cubs are a few pieces away from a postseason run or even just making the postseason so there's that anyways let's let's get everything going here everything's normal situation manual on everything regular season okay Let's get, ooh, do we have a good pick in the draft? I think so, but I don't know if I'll end up using somebody. But like I said, we've we've been kind of, we've been throwing in the draft in case we get somebody good. You never know. We, we might end up getting someone good. So might as well, might as well look into the draft. So I'll see you guys at the draft. If I don't get anybody good, I'll see you guys in the offseason. All right, so after tendering contracts, we got about 50 mil to play with. We need, we need some help, right? Like we've got Strowman, we've got Hendricks, who super low rated, but Strowman, Miley, Hendricks, Alzali, and then again, still a big question mark on who's gonna be that last starter. Mills, there's Justin Steele, there's Keegan Thompson if we want to go down that route. But again, it's or Braylon Marquez, but uh, yeah, it's it's still kind of like we we need that last rotation guy and then the bullpen is still a question mark as well just a lot of what ifs with this team when you take a look at the lineup you know madrigal can slot in at second Contreras, dh or starter whatever you really want to go with um we've got wisdom at third ortega in center ian happ in left frazier in right we've got harold ramirez jason hayward's in the minors because that's what the cpu thought was the best situation michael armacio is back Greg Diekman, Brennan Davis is like what another year away from being ready, and then we've got like PCA uh, Casey who may end up being a first baseman. I'm not too sure what they're gonna do with him, but I know he was he had a pretty solid season last year. Canario Alcantara, so there's some outfielders to look forward to for the future, infielders as well. But we'll probably we'll probably do like a, a 10 year rebuild down the line. But for right now, let's just have some fun with it. Let's go crazy. And 50 mil isn't a lot to work with. So you know what? We're going to open up a little bit more money by trading Jason Hayward. Honestly, who needs Jason Hayward? Who wants Jason Hayward is the real question. And I'm just trying to see if there's a team that like actually needs an outfielder. You know what? Do the Rangers have that kind of money now that they just spent 40 million bajillion dollars on everybody? Apparently they do. So I'm going to take somebody. From them honestly i'll just gonna take their lowest rated player because they can have jason hayward jason hayward is now part of the rangers that opened up a little bit more money for us now didn't it yes it did 
which means what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and get a starter, but I'm also going to get my number one target that I hope that the Cubs go out and get in the name of Carlos Correa. Get him whatever money he wants. Give him all the money that he wants. He wants a 10 year deal. I don't know about a 10 year deal, but like maybe like a, a, a six year deal, seven year deal. Yeah, give him that. If he wants a 10 year deal, well, then maybe maybe we could talk about it when that time comes, like when the lockout comes to an end but right now give me carlos correa in a cubs uniform and ooh, i would love it oh it'd be so good anyways let's keep going what else could we use on this team first base we got frank the tank schwindel so we don't need to do anything there ortega in center we'll, we'll see how that goes i might i might splurge on an outfielder we'll, we'll, we'll see what we do we see we'll see what we do but right now i need a pitcher i need a pitcher let's see here carlos martinez in a cubs uni that's that's just like blasphemy Rodon do I have the money for Rodon I kind of do but like I also need bullpen and there really isn't much bullpen going on here I'll sign this guy he looks kind of decent let's see what else Shane Green I picked him up in yesterday's video but you know what let's pick him up again six mil I know in real life he's been kind of but we'll we'll see what's going on there but is Rodon the guy that I want to pick up. I don't. It's it's literally between these two. It's literally between these two. Is or do I make a trade? Do I make a trade? Who's still? Let me look at who's still available because like that that might that might change some things here. Because if there's someone that's available that's not like in this free agency pool that I could go and get. Let me let me take a look. Let me take a look. Let's see here. We've got. Who's still a free agent? We have Granky Kershaw, Kikuchi, 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 Danny Duffy, Michael Pineda still available. Matt Boyd, Matt Boyd. Okay, Rodon. There's some names. There's some names. Okay, so Rodon or Rodon, whatever, however you prefer to pronounce it. Who else did I say? Rodon, Boyd, Kikuchi, Kershaw, Pineda. All right, let me see how Kikuchi did, because like the whole Kikuchi situation could be an interesting one. I know there's a couple teams out there that have looked at him. I think the Mets are being linked to him right now, but let's let's see what Kikuchi's up to. Not not good things. So I'm gonna say, you know what? No no Kikuchi, no Kikuchi. Who? Uh, Matthew Boyd. What are what are we looking like, Matthew Boyd? Not not great either. Not great either. So maybe Michael Pineda. Is Danny Duffy available? Is he still a? Is he still a reliever or did he get picked up? Let's see here. Duffy, Duffy, Duffy. Did I keep him as a reliever? So then he's probably still on the Dodgers, which would be unfortunate. He is. Honestly, like as a back end of the rotation, not a terrible thing. Contract's not that bad. So I might make a trade for a starter just, just to have that, that depth, right? Or actually just to have a fifth starter. But also... It wouldn't be terrible just to sign somebody to have that depth. So, like, I might sign Pineda. Because, like, that that could be a potential target for the Cubs. You know, he's still available. He's, a like, a veteran pitcher that can just eat some innings. Could be a guy. Could be a guy. Or Rodon. Rodon is also someone if we wanted to splurge the cash. But I also kind of want to make some trades. And I don't want to be cash-strapped by offering a max deal. And what happens if I offer him a max deal? I literally have like 8 mil and I still need a couple bench bats and some bullpen pieces. So I don't know if that's worth doing right now. I think Dominic Leon is still on the, the Giants. So we got I got to fix that on the roster too. There's a couple couple errors that are on the roster that I need to need to fix. But let's see, what does he want? I'll, I'll make him the closer for 12 mil if he has a good season. I hope he does. There we go. I think I, I think that's the move. I think that's the move. I think we make a trade for like Matthew Boyd. I think Matthew Boyd's gonna be my target here. I think I think looking at the available options, I think Matthew Boyd is the one. That's the one. That's that's the one. Um, yeah, our draft picks weren't great, so don't worry about them. So like, we're gonna pick up this guy too because for some reason he wasn't signed. But yeah, our draft picks weren't good. Don't don't even, not even not even not even gonna not even gonna talk about them so i'm gonna leave it there correa being the big one can we get correa if we can get correa i'm set and then we'll make the trade for the pitcher like i said at the beginning of the season McHugh doesn't want our offer he's gonna go to the dodgers instead 
Fair. Shane Green doesn't want to come either. That's fair. I, I guess. Correa, please. We're still in first. You have no other offers. Just take it. Just take it, please. Please take it. Please. There it is. Carlos Correa. That's perfect. All right. I think that's that's it. Oh, Roberto Perez? Did they, did they release him? <laughs> did Roberto Perez get released by the Pirates? And they were like, you can walk. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. All right. I'm going to sign a couple fringe guys to fill out the rest of the roster. I, I might pick up a reliever in the Rule 5 draft, but I'll see you guys for next season once we start making some trades. All right, let's go make those trades that I was talking about. We should be good roster-wise. We're set. I need two guys. What I'm looking at is either a starting outfielder or a like platoon outfielder to play versus lefties because I've looked at what we have. Versus lefties, we're a little lacking in the outfield. A little lacking in the outfield. That, that's really about it. Otherwise, we're pretty well-rounded on the players we've signed. So, as you can see, Jonathan VR. I feel like the Cubs have been linked to Jonathan VR through trades like every year besides last year. So, I figured let's pick him up instead of Matt Duffy. I know. I know you guys are super sad Matt Duffy's not on the team this time. But, there's that. Okay, so I do want to make a trade for a starter. And I mentioned Matthew Boyd being him. And the only reason I'm going to pick up Matthew Boyd is because like... He's essentially the cheap John Means, right, in franchise. He always has, like, just a really solid season. That's a good way to put it. It's just a solid year, and because I'm looking for a back end of the rotation guy anyways, just because the other guys that we have aren't ready, I feel like that works perfectly. This guy, I don't know who drafted him. Whoever drafted him, thank you for letting him go. I'm just going to trade him. He looks fantastic. I could use him. He kind of does have that good lefty power and contact that I was looking for from the outfield. But I would rather use real players, and I'm just going to make the trade. We're also going to throw in, we're going to throw in Benito Mateo, because I just drafted him, and he's not going to be good anyway. So we'll just make that trade. Boom. There he is. It slots right in. Look at that. I mean, he could even go right there, and then we kind of, maybe, maybe something like, maybe something like this. Maybe something like that. Just because I'm worried that Wade Miley is going to continue to decrease in rating. That's why I'm a little worried that I don't want to keep him higher up in the rotation. Now, the bullpen. Definitely need someone here for the bullpen. I just don't know what. Did we have a lefty? Okay, I need a lefty. That's what we're going to trade for. A lefty reliever. This is the tough part because there's not a lot of good lefty relievers out there that you can acquire. So, I guess this is what we do. Player search. Relief. Throw arm. It needs to be lefty. And now, we just kind of see who was good. Chafin, Loop. Didn't I try to get Nestor the other day? And I couldn't. So let's get him. Let's get, let's get, let's get him. All right, we're going to, what about, who do you want, man? Who are they going to want? Alcantara? Like, if I have VR, I have Wisdom, I have Bodhi Madrigal. Let's see if I can get Bodhi in this deal. Let's see if I can get that to work. All right, I did sign like a, a couple fringe starters, but I don't think they're going to be ready to be able to trade. So I think I'm, I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to dig into players that I drafted or players that are already here. Vincent Park was someone that I drafted. Control's really bad, so it does worry me. So I think I'm going to have to include him in the deal. And then honestly, I'm, I just, I don't really see us using... Harold Ramirez, it doesn't even get the deal done anyway, so it doesn't matter. What about Joneshwi? Anybody, anybody, anybody. Can I... I guess. I don't really want to trade Cole Roterer. Can I trade Alcantara instead? I can? Okay. Nestor Cortez is in the team. Perfect. Perfect. That's actually... That's like ideal. He can... He can be our setup guy now. And then we'll make Rowan Wick our closer, because he's actually pretty decent in that role last year as you can see six blown saves is a little worrisome i'm not gonna lie but we'll, we'll see how it goes so now it's it's looking a little better it's looking a little better a little bit better i kind of like what we're working with here now the outfield the outfield spot bench is looking a little little slim a little slim which means we could go out and you guys thought it was gonna happen wasn't gonna happen but guess what it happened Matt Duffy's on the team. I accidentally signed him for like a five-year deal. I'm pretty sure that's what I just did. Yep, I did. Doesn't matter. He's worth it. He's worth every penny. Now, 
let's go and find that extra outfield bat brandon davis i'll definitely use him in a longer term rebuild i definitely want to get these young prospects that the cubs have in a video at some point don't you worry i've got plenty of rebuilds to do still 10-year rebuilds realistic rebuilds uh these type of rebuilds where i'm trying to win in season one it we'll, we'll get the ones that we need not necessarily the guy i was looking for but there were rumors that they would be interested in trading them if the right package came could i offer them the right package and do i need a lefty bat i could use a lefty bat but i was saying that i was looking for someone to help us hit lefties not a, a good lefty bat Oh, okay. So now I'm thinking, who who do we go? Do we go center field? Do we go a corner spot? I'm trying to see like what what's available. Like who also hits lefties well? You know, um, Malik Smith does, but eh. honestly, Cedric Mullins, I'm kind of in on that. Like a lot. Like, I'm, I'm kind of in on that, like, a lot, a lot. So, do I have the pieces to make this possible? I don't think I do. It's just we're, we're, we're lacking a little a little bit of something, like, that I... Oh, man. I mean, I could. I definitely could make this deal possible, but I think it's just... It's a little bit too much. So, let me look around. Let me see if I can find that guy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. Um... Miguel Amaya, not, I, I, I think Miguel Amaya is going to be a fantastic catcher. But if he's going to make this deal a lot easier, we might as well get it done. Nick Castellanos is back in a Cubs uni. Oh, baby. All right, how are we going to do this? Clint Frazier. Looks like he hits lefties better anyways. So I'll just use him versus lefties. Castellanos slots right in. Boom. Oh, yeah. I mean, hello. We'll, we'll move this around a little bit. I mean, obviously, I don't want Correa leading off. That's that's a little bit of a, a no, 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 no. Maybe drop him a little bit lower. Maybe gonna kind of something like this. Kind of something like this. I, I kind of like this. This is looking kind of nice. I'm getting excited. All right, we're going to rock with this for season. For the season, I should say. The bench, let me tell you, that is looking beautiful. The bench is looking good. Obviously, Horner not a dh so who would i put instead because like magical at second horner is not gonna play over correa at short patrick wisdom would i put him in left he played a little bit of outfield last year mm. but patrick wisdom's fielding is really good at third so like i feel like if we're if we're gonna leave it i think this would be the way to do it unless horner learned to play one of the outfield spots and then maybe Castellanos becomes the DH. Overall, it doesn't really matter. It's a sim. It's a video game. I've literally made this Cubs team way better than they already are in real life. It don't matter. We're going to sim it. That's the that's the squad. We're leaving it there. We're at enough, guys. I'll see you guys at the deadline if we need to. All right, starting pitching is something that I need a lot. Our best starting pitcher is Marcus Stroman as well as Justin Steele. I set down Alec Mills. You guys can kind of see we're, we're struggling a little bit. Just a, just a little bit just a little bit so i'm gonna i'm gonna pick up a starter um i'm trying to think of like who else was available that we talked about and now i don't remember like at all so i'm just gonna go and pick up whoever i want and we're just gonna see how things are going so hmm, let's see let's see I'm, I'm also like i'm i am looking seeing like who is who is available here Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't really see anybody. I don't really see anybody that I, I want in the team. Maybe a John Means. Is that is that what we're is that what we're looking at? A John Means? Honestly, that's like the, the player that will win us the most games. Like if we're being realistic about everything. That is gonna be the guy that's gonna be like, alright, game over. World series is ours. So maybe John Means is the move. Uh, it's super boring. I know and you guys are probably like don't do that. Why would you do that? That takes away from the whole experience of this video Kind of does so now I'm looking around thinking about who else I could get someone That's a little bit different someone that's gonna win us some games and I don't really see any anybody like at all Like Jose or that's a little bit different, but he's also a little bit out of my price range What about Luis Garcia a little bit out of my price range? I honestly 
John Means might be the easiest one to get. Tanner Houck. I honestly, I John Means might be that guy. I'm looking at my other my other options here. Nothing's really striking me as, oh yeah, we should do it. Unless like, where's Michael Pineda? Do I steal him from the Brewers and give them Matthew Boyd? But watch, I give Matthew Boyd to the Brewers. Matthew Boyd's about to become a Cy Young winner by the end of the season. So like, that's not fair. We can't be doing that. I don't know. I don't know. What do I, what do I do here? How did Michael Lorenzen end up back on the, you see this, right? It says the Angels, but he's on the Reds? Am I going crazy? Did that trade just happen? Hold on. Trades. Yeah, they did just trade. Okay. I got so confused. So confused. I was like, how did he end up back on the Reds? Anyways, let me find a trade. I'm going to pick up Frankie Montas of the Athletics for Matthew Boyd and Harold Ramirez. Yep, that is the move. And he slots right in there. I could even bump him up one spot. And then I have my eye on possibly bringing up Braylon Marquez or Cole Franklin just because they're both having really good seasons so that might be the move everybody else like offensively Ian Happ struggling a little bit but outside of that you look at the rest of the numbers I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing a lot a lot so I'm gonna leave it there we're one game behind the Reds I still have faith in this team to make the postseason let's see how it goes won the division 90 and 72 taking on the Mets definitely gonna be a tough matchup for us no awards okay DeGrom won Cy Young and MVP. Jordan on the other side. Marcus Semien finished second with the new team of his, the Rangers. Chris Sale won Cy Young. We already know who won it on the other side. Batting title went to Travis Jankowski and Starling Marte. Reliever of the year went to Wendelkin and Chad Green. Larnick beat out Torkelson and Christian Lopez. And then Seth Beer beat out Nick Mat Matten and Jose Devers. Okay. So now this is going to be a mess. I got to fix this. All right, it's going to take a little bit of some magic for us to make it to the World Series. You know, Wayne Miley struggled a lot. He obviously dropped in rating two. Braylon Marquez, 26 innings, was actually really good. We've got Hoyer. Walden was meh. You know, Wick was good once we moved him out of the closer spot. Rodriguez, Holder, who I did resign from free agency, and then Nestor Cortez. Next up, we've got Stroman, Montas, Kyle Hendricks, who yikes and then uh we've got Al Zalai who again kind of struggled too but wasn't our worst pitcher so like it's good to see that like at least he's progressing right Armisio not bad off the bench for sure VR kind of sucked Clint Frazier it was all right I need I need a little bit more on base percentage but you know what the OPS isn't terrible Matt Duffy getting on base and then Jan Gomes as our backup catcher Ortega not a bad season. Not a bad season. Leadoff guy. Just get on base for me. Ian Happ. Looks like he turned it around a little bit the second half of the season. Castellanos with the 40 bombs. Same thing with Patrick Wisdom. Correa. Solid. We've got Schwindel. Frank the Tank. Killing it with 23 homers. Wilson with 31 home runs. Madrigal was, was okay. High average. High average. So that's good. Horner. Not too bad. Not too bad. I feel like I feel like it's a, it's an okay lineup. Things are things are coming together. So who's gonna be? I guess we do that. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna rock like that. Okay. We're taking on. Did the Mets make any moves? All right, Mets. Bing bang. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Guillaume, Lindor, Marte. I mean, it's it's a good lineup, isn't it? It's a it's a. I don't know, man. I don't feel confident. Like. If it was real life, we probably would win because DeGrom's on the mound. They're only going to score one run. But like, ah, dude, this is this is tough. This is really tough. So game one, we lose three nothing. Like, that's tough. That's tough. We win the second, though. And the third. 17 nothing. What? Four for Hap, five for Wisdom, three for Correa and three for Nico Horner. Oh, man. How many innings did Alzelay go? Eight innings, four hits. Dang. Okay. I like that. Let's go see our next matchup. The Padres. The Padres, like, I feel like it is it is a good lineup. It is a good lineup for sure. Like, I like that Jack Peterson signing. We take a look at their, their pitching. Let's see what we got here. Maybe. Maybe. 
I, this this one, like if we can win this one, we take on the Yankees or the White Sox. I think if we can win this, I, I feel good about the World Series. I honestly do. So we just got to get there. And we're one game away. We're one game away. Holy cow. We'll be taking on the White Sox or the Yankees. It's tied 3-3. Three to three. We're taking on the Yankees. I've been taking on the Yankees way too much lately. All right, did the Yankees make any moves? Probably not. They never seemed to make any like any changes to the team at all. No, they didn't. Nick Ahmed, woo, Alcantara. We gave them Alcantara. Nick Ahmed seems like a, a pick for the Yankees because they don't want to sign a shortstop. They could go out and get, get a shortstop. There it is, Nick Ahmed. There you go. Oh, they brought in Lazardo and Paxton from the, the Red Sox. Okay. Okay. Um. I guess, I guess. All right, game one, Alzali. Let me check. Let me check the calendar one more time. Who won? Hendricks. Okay, so we could move it around a little bit. Yeah, Stroman. I mean, Stroman struggled. Alzali's had a really good postseason, but you know what? We gotta, we gotta stick with our, stick with our. We gotta go with it. We gotta go with it. That's really what it is. Game one, we win. Game two, we do lose. That's okay. That's a tough loss though. We needed to win that one. Ooh, okay. All right, we're one game away. It is against Garrett Cole. I mean, it's not an ideal situation, but we still at least have like one more game after this if need be, right? All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna hop into it. Let's see how it goes. I mean, if, if we could score early, like get on the board, make it like a three, four run game, I'm comfortable. But like, if they start open up the scoring, they start going crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like once the momentum's in their in their favor, it's gonna be tough to come back. So one nothing. It's still close. It's still close. That's not ideal. But he gets out of it. There we go. Where are our bats? We need some offense. We need some offense. Ah, man, two hits though. Like like I said, Garrett Cole was gonna be a tough matchup for us. Like a, a tough one. So the fact that we're we're doing this right now, we're we're doing well. Montas six innings. I'll take it for sure. We'll take him out. We're going to go to, let's see here, seventh inning. So we'll go with Wick. And he gives us a one, two, three inning. A double. Is this the inning? Is this the inning? It is not the inning. It, it was not the inning. Okay, that's uh, unfortunate. It comes down to this. I mean, Garrett Cole's still in this. Hard of the lineup. I wouldn't want any other part of the lineup up right now. And... Pitching change, a fly out. All right, it comes down to game seven, man. Garrett Cole is 6-0 and in the postseason? Are we serious? Holy cow, no wonder why. What are we supposed to do against that? Game seven. We're, woo, man, let's rock. You know what? Let's rock a little, little road. Ooh, that's, whoo. The light blues, the throwbacks, and a game seven of a World Series. That's how you, that's how you show something. That's how you make a statement. We're out here to win. A single? That was it. All right, cool. Advert. I need I need a good in, good inning, good outing, everything. The first inning run, not ideal. You know that place is going to be loud now. It is going to be jumping. But you know what? It's only one run. He settles in. There we go. Two straight innings. No runs. I just need our offense to wake up a little bit. Anything at all. Come on, guys. We, we need the bats to get going. A walk. A single, give me the sack fly, tie it up. There we go. Small ball, just what we need. You know what? Five innings, one run. I'll take it from Advert. That's what I like to see. A double, a ground out. Frank the Tank, Wilson. Dang it. All right, Advert, good outing, good outing. We're going to go to Walden here. Nice little one, two, three inning. Rafael Ortega. I'm telling you, short porch, he pulled it. Pulled it down, short porch. Thank you very much, Yankee Stadium. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Base is loaded for Correa. Ooh, tough. All right. We do have the lead, though. We do have the lead. The double play was big there. Gets out of it. Let's see. Frank the Tank with the double. Hit by pitch. We're threatening. Nico, just, just slap a little single. That's all I need. I need a single, man. I needed... There we go. Ian Happ with the single. Castellanos makes it 7-1. Talk about a game going on here. Let's go, Jonathan Holder. Please. Okay, we got the runner. Oh, boy. This has got to be it, right? This has got to be it. This has got to... I mean... 
this is unless something crazy happens the double the single please let's let's not mess around here cortez against your former team that's what i'm talking about cubs win game seven identical records for the two teams that is whoo there we go patty wisdom mvp both playoff and world series I will take it. Did that, did I just see that Javi Baez was on the White Sox and he won World Series MVP last year? That is exactly what I saw. That is exactly what I saw. But you know what? I don't care. We won it. Yo, Adbert, have have a postseason. Have a postseason. How was the bullpen? Braylon was fantastic. Who else? Walden, Rowan Wick, Holder. Nestor, he was pretty solid too. We look at the lineup. Ian Happ struggled a little bit, but Castellanos, Wisdom, Correa. Just, yes, that is what I'm talking about. That is, whoo, got me all in my feels. I, I got to see another Cubs World Series before it's over. That's what I'm talking about. We'll definitely be back with some other rebuilds. Let me know what you guys want to see. Of course, hit the like button. I'll throw my roster into the vault tonight. I'll, I'll have to make a couple tweaks. I was going through the roster and I noticed there were a couple small errors. Um, there's definitely going to be some more errors, some like small deals that I've missed throughout the thing. So let me know if you guys notice any. But um, yeah, there it is, guys. Cubs rebuild, brought in some crazy names. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.